cleaning your hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub is the most effective way to prevent the spread of infection. Alcohol-based hand rub is usually a popular choice because it's often quicker to use, uh, it's more convenient, and it's often less irritating to the skin than soap and water. Something I want to let you know about is that um, because of COVID-19, um, we're running into some challenges with supplies of a key ingredient that's used to make uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And that ingredient is pharmaceutical grade ethanol. In order to maintain supplies of our hand sanitizer, Health Canada has authorized the use of what's called technical grade ethanol um, in hand sanitizer. So what's the difference between pharmaceutical grade and technical grade ethanol? Well, it all comes down to purity standards. Essentially, pharmaceutical grade ethanol has got fewer impurities in it than technical grade. For example, there's a chemical compound called acetaldehyde that is contained within pharmaceutical grade ethanol up to about 10 parts per million. However, in technical grade ethanol, it may be have as acetaldehyde a level of about 800 to 1,000 parts per million. So what's acetaldehyde and what does it mean if it's in technical grade ethanol in higher concentrations? Well, acetaldehyde is a fairly simple chemical compound made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. It's actually fairly similar in chemical structure to ethanol itself. Acetaldehyde has got a very high vapor pressure, which means it evaporates quite readily, more readily than alcohol or ethanol. It also has a very pungent odor. So what this means is that when you're using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that's made with technical grade ethanol, this will likely smell different or more stronger than the, the uh, hand rub that you're normally used to using. And some people might find this smell a little bit uh, un uh, unpleasant or something they don't enjoy smelling. So is acetaldehyde harmful? Well, like any chemical compound, acetaldehyde has the potential to be harmful. However, it's important to consider that acetaldehyde is naturally produced in our environment, and it's actually naturally contained within foods we eat and beverages that we consume. So every day, each one of us is exposed to small levels of acetaldehyde in the air we breathe and the food and beverages that we consume. In fact, acetaldehyde is also considered to be safe for use as a flavorant, and it's added to foods like uh, meats and dairy products, uh, baked goods, candies, desserts, that sort of thing. And even our own bodies produce acetaldehyde naturally through natural cellular processes that are ongoing within us every day. So is hand sanitizer containing technical grade ethanol safe? Well, consider this. If you were to apply hand sanitizer containing technical grade ethanol to your hands and all of that liquid instantly evaporated and you inhaled all of it, so all that liquid now entered into your body, the amount of acetaldehyde you'd be exposed to from that event would actually be less than the acetaldehyde you'd consume by eating an average banana. Now, of course, you should never drink hand sanitizer. But if you're using hand sanitizer the way it's meant to be used, then you shouldn't be worried. Hand sanitizer is safe when used as directed, whether it contains pharmaceutical grade ethanol or technical grade ethanol. So whether you prefer to use soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub, please continue to practice good hand hygiene. This is the best way that we can prevent the spread of infection and keep both you and our patients safe. Thank you. Together, we do amazing things every day.